guys, it's Mr. Penguin Panda, and in this video I'm going to show you how I ventured into madness trying to get the golden clock. So I still didn't achieve 100% perfection, but I already had everything else, except for the golden clock. And I'm not sure why I still didn't have the money, but it's certainly not because I kept buying tons of wood, mega bombs, coffee and whatnot. At that point I was also sick and tired of ancient fruits. So I had an amazing idea. Fairy Rose Honey. Fairy Roses stay all season on Ginger Island and everyone who has sold some Fairy Rose Honey before knows what this means. A lot of money. 952 gold from one jar of Fairy Rose Honey if you have the artisan profession. I even had some bee houses already so I just had to make some space. I started my journey and I might have gotten carried away a little bit. The first thing was me deciding that I hated ancient fruits from now on. So bye bye ancient fruits. I realized that I needed so much wood and so much maple syrup and I got inspired by some guy on reddit that used the quarry as a tree farm. So I planted some trees there. Some tappers and even more trees. And I could make use of the new heavy tapper item. And at that point I just had to wait and build some bee houses, spent hundreds and thousands of gold on iron, wood and coal, built even more bee houses and rinse and repeat. And soon I was basically done. But I wanted more, not just a lousy 200k gold, but there was only so much farmland on Ginger Island where I could grow fairy roses. But then I had an idea, I was thinking, wait can you actually plant stuff there? The answer was yes, and you can imagine where this is going now. At first I wanted it to look pretty, but then I just went crazy and filled up every last inch of this island with bee houses as long as it was still in the range of a fairy rose. And at that point I had bought so much iron ore, wood and coal that I had spent more than the 10 million gold I wanted for the golden clock, but I didn't care at this point. It was just about filling up everything with bee houses. And this was the result. 802 bee houses that produce fairy rose honey, 750,000 gold every 4 days, 1.3 million gold every week, 5.2 million gold every season, and all it took was 32,000 pieces of wood, 6,400 pieces of coal, 802 maple syrup, and 4,010 iron ore, and an additional 802 pieces of coal for the furnaces. The only thing left was to harvest it and I have to admit that my arrangement wasn't very suited to harvesting. I could have placed them better, but you know, that wouldn't be as fun. Fast forward a couple painful days later and I was finally done. I placed the golden clock on my farm, went to the summit, collected all the rewards and at last my treasure room was filled. So yeah, of course you don't have to make as many bee houses and make it impossible to navigate the island. But I just wanted to have some fun with this and show you another way to make a lot of money thanks to the new update. Compared to before, you can now have the fairy roses stay all season long and compared to ancient fruit wine it's almost the same gold per day. But without the kegs as an additional step, so you have to do less work. It uses up more space because of the fairy roses and you also can't just put the bee house into sheds and depending on how you see it, bee houses are also more expensive than cags. But of course you can still keep your ancient fruits in the greenhouse, so you have the best of both worlds. That's it, I hope you enjoyed my bee house madness. If that's the case, please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And thanks for watching and see you in my next video.